What is up this year? LA in a minute. An iconoclast basketball legend, Bill Walton, has passed away at 71 years old. Bill was one of the true titans of basketball, winning multiple championships in college, both here at UCLA as well as in the NBA. But Walton was perhaps most impactful as a broadcaster and personality, at times outlandish, nonconformist, and unconventional, but always a true liver of life, a bringer of positivity, energy, and heart. Let's get into it. What is up this year? LA in a minute. And Bill Walton has passed away at 71 years old. Bill was a champion in college and the pros, but also in life, especially as a broadcast personality and a human being. At times he was outlandish, nonconformist, and unconventional, but he was always a true liver of life and a bringer of positivity, energy, and heart. Let's get into it. For the past 30 years, Walton was known for his exuberance, his meanderings, his passion for the Pac-12. Willing to talk about basketball, UCLA, the Pac-12, politics, the Grateful Dead, basically whatever he wanted to, with a smile on his face and wherever there was basketball to be enjoyed. But prior to that, he was one of the best players ever to set foot on the hardwood. Initially called the best high school player I'd ever seen by UCLA assistant coach Denny Crum while he was at Helix High in La Mesa, he turned into the top college basketball player ever after winning two championships and three Player of the Year awards at UCLA. He'd ultimately become the quote-unquote best player for a big man who ever played the game of basketball after winning his first NBA championship, a precursor to his MVP year for the Portland Trailblazers. Bill was born in La Mesa near San Diego, the son of a music teacher and a librarian. And he grew up with three siblings, including older brother Bruce, who would eventually play for the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. Or Bill's athletic career even began in earnest. The injuries that would plague him later in his career first developed. He broke an ankle, a leg, several bones in his feet, and underwent knee surgery before playing a minute for the varsity team at Helix. Despite those setbacks, he led Helix to two CIF titles, a springboard to the dominance at UCLA, where the Bruins went 86-4 and in his three seasons. But the time at UCLA shaped who he would become, mostly due to his relationship with coach John Wooden, saying that Wooden's emphasis on life lessons and character would forever fuel Walton's relationships and approach to life. It's also where Walton would find his voice, being arrested in anti-Vietnam War protests, first touring with the Grateful Dead, and becoming a vegetarian. Walton was drafted first overall into the NBA by the Blazers, and his first two years were plagued with injury, but he won a title in his third year, and MVP the year after that, but he was injured in the playoffs that year, and that would be the theme for the rest of his career, where he played some years in his hometown San Diego for the Clippers and won a title with the Boston Celtics, which is where he would finish his playing career, where he would soon become enshrined in the Hall of Fame, but not before working to overcome his stutter, which would change his life and his post-career future. Walton started his sports broadcasting career in 1990 as an analyst for Prime Ticket and went on to call games for the Clippers in L.A., expanding to wherever he could get a mic and a broadcast. He was known for his off-the-cuff irreverence, his sense of humor, and joy to vive, talking about tangents, whatever came into his mind, but always with a smile and a sense of positivity. Bill Walton is truly one of a kind, a legend both on and off the court. And though he has a legacy worldwide, it was honed right here in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.